So if you want to take out that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. If you want to do it, you let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Broken arm! Broken arm! Broken arm! Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Today's video takes us to the great state of Michigan. Unfortunately for the great state of Michigan, the fraud at her broken system, broken trust, also known as Joshua, lives there, which detracts from the state, along with some other fraud at I won't mention right now. At any rate, oh, the lad is bud hurt. He really wanted to join my live stream, but he resisted it. And now he wants to call me a drug dealer. Oh, dearie me. Oh, what will I do with this idiot? And joy. This is Dr. Dave. Dr. Dave made a thumbnail. And this was from 12 hours ago. Said, I have an open invitation to several frauditors who are welcome to join my live stream. I'm just making this video kind of for myself. Anyways, it's not really for meant for like an audience. But I thought this was funny. Because uh, as you could just see, Dr. Dave. Because uh, Dr. Dave, uh, let's see one last time. He made this little uh, snid bit, right? He has my face and a thumbnail inviting people to his live show tonight. Hey, sweetheart, let's be clear about this. Here's the original thumbnail. Not that half-assed thumbnail you're looking at on that cheap cell phone. But I guess when you have a drug habit, you can't afford anything really nice, can you? Yeah, you remember you called me a drug dealer at the beginning of this video? Oh, it's right there in print. Now, so I'm going to call you a meth head. Is that how you lost those couple of teeth in the front there due to drugs? Drugs are bad. You know what Mr. Mackey says on South Park, right? Now, as I was saying, uh, drugs are bad. You shouldn't do drugs. So, I, th I, th I think he was uh, suggesting that he wanted me to be a guest on his show. And then this is the live stream that he had tonight. So we had this guy in ABL News on. Uh, I went over and subbed to him, but uh, this is kind of the funny part. This is why I'm making the video. It's just kind of more for me than it is anything. But in the thumbnail, here, here Dr. Dave has in the thumbnail, right? He has me in the thumbnail. And then let's make sure this is turned up so we can see this. Uh, hold on. This is kind of funny. to uh, me. Let's see, Dr. Dave. Oh, Dr. Dave, were you expecting me? James the Mick, thanks for letting him know I was there in the live chat. Here's a picture of Josh, which I assume he's with his mother. Now, he has what I believe is stolen valor because I have it from a couple sources that he was dishonorably discharged, and he claims to be a veteran. If you were dishonorably discharged, you're not a veteran. All we have to do is submit form DD-214. No doubt about it, Josh. Or oh, you should come clean before we find out the truth, sweetheart. You're crazy. Hey, thanks, Hunter. Appreciate that, man. Appreciate it. Here, Dr. Dave. Hey, here's my good friend. Hey, bro, uh, I sent you a link to this chat. We'd love to have you in here, brother. I'm sure yeah, you no, would, Dr. Friend, Dave. I've treated this man with the... I'm sure you would. And then let's keep going with Dr. Dave. This is funny. Choice, the way things have gone. Yes, I would come on again. And you don't feel you made a mistake. Okay, good. So broken system, broken trust should have no reason to expect any different type of treatment. I agree with that. If... Oh, were you guys expecting me to come on your show? Oh, here, let's keep going. Uh, Oh, here's Joshua with his kids and his former wife. Oh, look at them. They look so happy. 
Look how far he has fallen in just a few years. This is from December of 2016. Ooh, that's only a little bit over five years ago. You had all your teeth then. That's what drugs will do to you, man. Drugs, yeah. You know what Mr. Mackey said before, right? I'm not going to play it again, but you know Mr. Mackey. Uh, but this, this video is just kind of for me. I'm just kind of <laughs> making a record here. Let, let's watch Dr. Dave. I think he, he looks kind of like a stood up prom date here. Let's just watch Dr. Dave. Tim to find out why he was driving on a suspended license. <laughs> what would possess a grown man to do? Now, look, I can understand if you're a kid, you know, 18, 19, 20 years old. Yeah, you do that kind of stuff. This guy is what? In his late 30s, early 40s? Why the hell would you do something like that for, man? Look, sweetheart, I wasn't your prom date, and if I were, my knees would have been locked, no doubt about it. Hey, is this your woman? Is this your baby mama? Does she give you drama? Not my baby mama. I have drama with my baby mama. Excuse my poor rap skills. I never said I was a rapper. Look how you've deteriorated. Look at this picture and look at you in the background and look at you today, five years ago. Now, this is all from your Facebook page. Look at this picture. You posted this picture to your Facebook page. Why would you do that? Why would you post a picture of that to your phone? You are so stupid. Uh-oh, Dr. Dave, you took the bait, buddy. Here, watch. We're, you're taking the bait right here with my comment here. Yeah, and then he begs the and then he begs the cop. You know, oh, can you give me a break? Yeah, I'm gonna give you a break. I'm not gonna put you in jail. I'm just gonna give you a citation. Now, that, that was a major break. I thought that break. that's a me. Yeah, because if you're driving on a suspended license, you can definitely go to jail. No doubt. That's a crime. But a lot of people see that as a victimless crime and never think to themselves, maybe there's a reason why he doesn't have to. I tell you one thing I learned from looking at this idiot's Facebook page is that he has an infatuation with his YouTube analytics. He posts on average at least once every week exactly what his YouTube channel is doing. Now I would expect that behavior from a 16 year old kid but remember this guy is probably 40 years old. Well, I tell you one thing, Josh, I looked at your Social Blade account because that tells the tale right there. Ooh, look at those estimated monthly earnings. That's a geyser of money. Ooh, ooh, don't spend that all in one place, brother. Soon more and more people will wake up and stop getting extorted. Hello, that's the whole point. Maybe one now, without that, now here, gonna crash it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but here, here's Broken C. He doesn't want to come on the live stream. He just wants to. Well, yeah, that's correct, Dr. Dave. I, uh, Unless you can get like 800 people watching uh, your channel and watching your show, I'm not coming on, dude. Oh, I can understand that, Josh. You want to build up your own social media platform. You don't have time for me. I understand because it says right on your Facebook page. You're a YouTube content creator. 
You're in a marketing associate at what? A canoe rental? You studied business management. You studied electrician at the Marine Corps. You went to Lakeland High School. It doesn't say you graduated. It says you're engaged and you're followed by 45 people. Woo, wee, you're doing quite well there, sonny boy. Now, in the past, it seems like you were some kind of a uh, carpet installer or wood floor installer. That's admirable. But what do you do now besides plow snow? Yeah, what do you do in the uh, summertime? Are you a landscaper? Well, that's admirable. Got to tell the judge something, though. Quick messages. Was my license suspended? Well, sir... Apparently, it was confirmed by the police officer, and that's why you were handcuffed. That wasn't the question, Dr. Dave, but hey. Summarily placed in the back seat and taken to the police station. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let's wait for 308. This is where he takes the bait. <laughs> You're making me cough, broken system. This is uh, where he I'm takes the bait. Josh. Now, I'm not doxing you because you have your full name printed on your... On your YouTube site, so I'm going to... My full name is printed on my YouTube site, Dr. Dave. Yeah, you mean on the letter that I posted? No, idiot. Your full name is printed at the bottom of this page. I didn't show it. But anyway, let's look at your stats on YouTube, your growing channel. Ooh, 3,800 subs, 102,000 views in what? Five, six years? Oh, look who he idolizes. Amagansett Press, Clash with Bayo, freaking media. From the Secretary of State saying that my license wasn't suspended? Hmm, could that be where I doxed myself, Dr. Dave? You guys don't do research, do you, Dr. Dave? Oh, you Josh instead of broken system. But Josh, don't you want to come on here for a few minutes and give your side of the story? I'm not, I'm not going to treat you badly. I'm going to let you tell us your side of the story because my viewers want to know I sent you that uh, 308 you're about to take the bait here Dr. Dave Dr. Dave, don't, Dave don't take the bait downloads. just click on it but uh, yeah was my license suspended Look, you half-baked dimwit. I don't care if your license was suspended or not. The police confirmed it was suspended, and that's good enough for me. By the way, the only reason I'm making this video is because look what you called me. Right there it is in black and white. Dr. Dave, drug dealer. Dr. Dave has never been a drug dealer, but you look like a meth head. No doubt about it. Do you use meth? You know, if you use meth, it's going to be difficult to get your daughter in a child custody hearing. Are you accusing your wife of being a meth head? Do both of you do meth? Is that what it is? You're both meth heads and you can't care for your children? Oh, dear me! By the way, this moron has a community post and he wants to know, look, should I be on Dr. Dave's show? Should I accept the invite? Go over there. It's three to one that he should accept the invite. He still won't show up because he's a punk. Now, here's the thing. Why was it suspended? That's what Why was it expended? You just took the bait. Why was it suspended? You just took the bait, Dr. Dave. I am so happy that you asked that question. You know why? Because I guess you'll have to tune into my show or my channel to figure out the answer to that one. Because we're going to figure it out on March 22nd. That's my next court date. So in just a couple days, you guys can watch what happens on my channel. I'm not going to come on your channel and uh, and uh, reveal that information, buddy. So, But anyways, I'm glad you asked why the license is suspended. By the way, here's the results of that poll I was just speaking about. 73% say yes. He still won't accept because, like I said, he's a little punk. By the way, Joshua, I will not be watching the results of what happens. What I will do is I will download your video, copy it to my hard drive, and then I will broadcast it to the world. Yeah, because I don't give anybody clicks and views that I don't like. 
Well, I got some fabulous software. Oh, I can copy your entire channel in just a matter of moments. Oh, it's fabulous. Maybe because I haven't been given due process of law yet, buddy. Ooh, and if that's the case, then I would have a nice federal lawsuit, wouldn't I, buddy? Oh, if it if it gets revealed to the court that they've taken property without due process of law, think about that, Dr. Dave. Think about that. Oh, but thank you for taking the bait. Here, one more time. Why was it suspended? That's what we would like to know. Why was it suspended? Uh-huh. Yes, Dr. Dave. You are drinking and driving. Or, oh, you probably, yeah, that's what it is. You probably received a ticket and didn't pay it on time. Your failure to appear will get that license. Objection, speculation, Dr. Dave. Objection, speculation. Something very telling just occurred. He did not deny that he was drinking or using drugs, and he did not deny a failure to appear. If somebody accused me of those things, I'd say, what the hell? I'm innocent. What are you talking about? Shut your mouth. He didn't say any of that. And remember, this picture is right from his Facebook page. I didn't make it up. <laughs> That's what it is. That's exactly what happened. Uh, I don't see him. Uh, now everybody left. Uh, people are leaving. See, people... Oh, Dr. Dave, did you make that thumbnail all for me? And then I stood you up. I'm sorry about that, Dr. Dave. But I have my own channel. So this is what I'll do. And hey, guys, <laughs> you know, th this is kind of just like a personal thing with me here. I'll turn my camera around for you guys real quick. Uh, just to show you guys. So it's just me hanging out. You guys are just chilling with me for tonight. What the hell was that? We could have done without that. We could go our entire lives and not have seen that. Oh, yeah. You know what? You do have your own channel. Right. You should work on that. Try to find something else to make money on YouTube because that's not working out for you, brother. 3,800 subscribers in six years. You're not doing so well. Find a vocation that you can be successful at. It's not fraudity on YouTube, I can tell you that. And what are you going to tell the judge when you're trying to get custody of your daughter? Oh, I'm a YouTube frauditor, Your Honor. Ten minutes later. And, uh, you know, so I thought there was value in, you know, going with, you know, trying to talk to the watchdogs, maybe have discussions and stuff like that. The more I'm learning about the watchdogs, the more I'm starting to, you know, think that that's just a waste of time and energy. And they're kind of ruining my channel because they come over here all the time and all they do is troll. Anything like that? Uh, let's see. But one, you want to start there, Jolie? You want to start out for with Kick? You're an outlet for the brain dead. Miss Salty, you know, all right, bye, Miss Salty, because the, the trolls are really ruining, the, ruining this for the people that want to hear this stuff, so... Miss Salty, I'll give you one last chance. Um, you know, if you keep saying trolling comments, I'm just going to get rid of you because that's what you guys do. You guys try to, like, ruin it for everybody else. Hey, Frauditor, if you think you're being trolled now, you should wait a while because you're a pile of trash. You're garbage. And I let you slide for a long time because I didn't want to waste my time with you because you're such a, how shall we say... We'll just say you're not a nice person and leave it at that. Yeah, but I could imagine your inbox is going to fill up now, sweetheart. Oh, you just wait. Wait till your next live stream. You're going to need a lot of moderators, baby. So over here, let's pull up Kick's, uh, let's pull up Kick's first show about little old me. Let's pull this up. Let's see. Well, there you have it, folks. Joshua said, I'm just doing this for me. You weren't doing it just for you, or you wouldn't have put that title on the video. Dr. Dave's a drug dealer. Right. Not a problem, brother. You opened up a big can of worms and whoop ass now. Oh, you started something. I'll finish it for you, though, sweetheart. Don't worry. Anyway... If you enjoy watching idiots, imbeciles, or morons like this guy, please subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks so much for stopping by.
cheers to that.